I just turned 33 a few days ago. Back in March 26th of this year in 2023, I made a video saying I'm an old infant, unemployed, and living with my mom. Exactly six months have passed since that video. I'm an old infant, as Jordan Peterson says. My situation isn't radically different from then, in that I'm still unemployed and living with my mom, but I feel like I'm definitely on an upward trajectory that is about to exponentially explode. My channel with my friend, Posh Korean, has over 25,000 followers on Instagram now, and we're trying to turn it into a business, so I'm getting busier with that. I bought Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy and met a couple accountability partners. We're keeping each other on track on our YouTube goals, and we're hosting weekly mastermind calls to include more people. Right now, I have just over 450 subscribers on my channel, and I'm on track to getting monetized in several months, hopefully. I started going on walks every day while listening to helpful audiobooks. Currently, I'm listening to The Slight Edge because I got that recommended more than once. It's about how simple, small, daily actions produce massive results over time. One of the biggest takeaways I got from this book so far is that every decision matters. The decision to sleep in a bit more, the decision to sit on the couch after eating, the decision to pick up my phone when I'm bored, the decision to ignore my priorities list and distract myself on YouTube. Every single one of those decisions matters. So I'm trying to be high hyper aware of what I'm about to do next. I also started doing stream of consciousness writing so I can problem solve anything that's going on in my life right now. I heard about it from this YouTube video and I've only done it twice, but it's absolutely helping me so far. In the morning for 20 minutes, just write about anything. Stream of conscious writing and don't stop. It's very important to not stop, even if it's the words, um, or I don't know what to write. You write what comes to mind and you just keep going. Like Dorothy says, just keep swimming. And then after those 20 minutes, go back and underline words that stick out. Make bullet points, underline important words, topics, ideas that stick out and appear relevant. Just be intuitive. Chances are that you wrote about something that's been on your mind lately, and this is the key. I identified that I need to make more time for my priorities, and in order to do that, I need to spend less time on the couch and watching TV, YouTube. That's just one of several insights that I got from writing in two sessions only. So I'm adding one or two helpful daily habits into my life, like walking or stream of consciousness writing, and I'm still trying to have that 1% better every day Kaizen mentality. So things are looking good so far. I think I can only go up from here. No, that's not true. I can definitely go down. But according to my trajectory, I think I'm going to go up from here. Also, as a side note, I got a request to tell more of my bipolar stories, so I think I'm gonna get to those as well. And I was gonna take these necklaces off for filming, but I got a comment saying that they look pretty cool, so I'm not gonna take them off for filming, for now, we'll see.